Hey guys, what's up? It's, it's me, Francis. Today I want to show you. I want to show you my fidget spinner collection because I've been collecting these. I've been collecting these now for um, almost a week. Ever since someone sent one into the to PO box, this is the one they sent in the PO box here, and it, it's the very first one I ever got. It's 3D printed, so it's like one of a kind, and it was made by the guy who sent it to me. And I like it because it's the first one that I ever had, and it's fun to do. But the problem is, it doesn't have a lot of ball bearings, and it doesn't have a lot of weight to it, so not a lot of spin time. And so I, it's fun for fidgeting, but it's not good for like tricks. If you want to do tricks and stuff, then you can't really, you can't really do them because it doesn't have a very long spin time. So I decided to upgrade. But these you can generally like they're made kind of cheap, or you could get like some like this for like two or three dollars, so it's a good price. And I, what I like about this one is it's really quiet. So if you're playing with it in like uh, class or at work or at the theater or whatever, then you, it doesn't make very much noise. Listen, listen how little noise. It makes like no noise whatsoever. You hear that? It's quiet. Oh, it, okay, it makes noise if you touch, if you touch the camera. It makes noise, but otherwise it does not make noise. But. But then I want to try something more mid-grade, and this is like, this is like the one that everybody else has, right? And you can see I have not even touched it hardly, and it's already got a good spin going. And so this is, I mean, if you want to do tricks, this is kind of do tricks with, right? Like if you want to put it up, you want to put it up on like a nose, and you can, ow, ow. But if you, but you just want to put it up on your nose and then, uh, I haven't got that one yet, but what about, I could probably do my chin, I could probably do my chin, but, but this one's got some real metal to it, so real weight to it, and it's got the centrifugal, centrifugal forces, so. When you're like trying to move it like this, it really fights it, right? So it's kind of like exercise for your hands. And I don't get a lot of exercise, so this is probably, I mean, this probably counts. But this one does, this one does have a sound to it if you listen. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Let's get real close. I think I, I think I cracked it a little bit. I think, I think it's going to be okay. It still works if you touch it. Okay, doesn't matter. For the video, okay. For the, this is the other one I got. This one just came in today. And I came in a little, a little like, leather pouch. And it had, like, a little cloth for you to clean it and everything. So this is, like, high, high end. Plus, look at how cool it looks with the special bomb air. I mean, this one's really unique. This one's, like, a collector, collector item. This one, I spent $30 on this one. The problem is the arms are so long. See, if you look right there, I keep hitting my fat in my hand, so I can't do it like I do the other ones. But if I put if I put a lot of distance in there, then I can get it to spin. But now I know you can hear that. Can you hear that? Is the microphone over here? Is it over here or is it over here? Here, but see if you can hear it. See if you But, this, I mean, this one you can do tricks. This one you can do tricks with real easy if you got big hands. I don't have big hands. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got that on camera. Did you see that? Can you see? <laughs> they still spin. Look at that. Look at that. Well, okay. But this one I think you can put. This one, because it's got such a good spin time on it, you can, like, you can put it on a, you can put it on a can or something like here. Well, you could, you could probably balance it. I don't have a water bottle, but I have this can. But then, look. <laughs> Whoa! And then this one, I think you could probably... Like, you could... Ow. Ow. <laughs>
Ow. <laughs> I, I took this one to the movie theater with me. And I was playing with it while waiting on the movie. And this guy said, he, the guy took one look at me and he said, I was probably artistic. And I don't know how he knows that because honestly, I can't draw. And I, I can't write or anything like that. And I can't sing or dance or anything like that. But I do have that one that one song that did really well on iTunes. So I guess he knew that somehow. But I don't think the way I'm doing this is artistic. But I mean, what I'm saying is if you take these out in the public, sometimes, you know, people are going to compliment you. And so, you know, that's nice. They just normally call me fat. <laughs>